Alrighty, man. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Blade Her Life series. As y'all can see, man, we are your boy Franklin. And we, uh, we, we're still at the meth lab, man. We're still at the meth lab. But we gotta keep making that shmoney, man. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, since we're actually still here, what we gotta go ahead and do is go to cook up a large batch. I know we gotta keep them guys going. How much do we have? Nine. Okay, so, what I kinda wanted to do real quick, cause we do gotta go pick up the Escalade, if you guys remember. Okay, we do gotta go pick up the Escalade, though. Like, uh, like I did tell you guys already. So, alright, we're gonna go ahead and do a mission. You know, I definitely wanted to go ahead. We gotta, we gotta continue building up the meth lab. So we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna do uh, maybe one or two missions real quick before we do continue on. But it's still the trailer. Oh shit. Ah, oh, okay. Um, do they give us any trucks for this one? Or is, like, how, how are we still in the trailer this time? I'm gonna take this duffel bag off my back too for this. Hold on, let me do that real quick. My boy ain't even took no shower, man. That's that's how much my boy out here working, man. You know what I'm saying? That's how much we out here working. So let me take that off. Or we might just have to find us a vehicle to get over there. We'll see what it do once we get over there. And we need this phone to stop ringing. Might take them damn phone missions on my game because they always ringing, bro. Bro, there's not a single car near me, bro. Are you serious? Come on, bro. Yeah, damn, bro. We, we gotta find a car, bro. This is making everything some BS, bro. I hear some cars near me. Yes. I know there's gonna be one coming behind me eventually. I don't give a fuck about none of that horn honking. Oh, no. oh yes. Let me hold this. Oh, I'll bring it back, Ram Ram. Alright, let's go ahead and make our way down here. We gotta steal this trailer. We gotta increase cooking yields, bro, because we got a lot more money that we need to make. Like right now, bro, I can't believe I can't believe we just got just slammed, bro. How we get slammed in the mess lab like this, bro? Alright, you see this only 450 G's. And by slammed I mean like we gotta rebuild this joint up. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I'm playing on this TV and uh my game dark as hell. <laughs> I ain't even gonna lie, this joint dark as hell. It's not that dark for y'all, but it's dark as hell for me. That's, that's 12. I'm glad he ain't trying to pull me over, man. That's all that really matters. You see, man, we almost at our destination. Let me go right here. See, I don't have no truck for this trailer. Oh, you see how they done cheese me, bro? So you know what, bro? I get the cheese bite, man. I get the cheese bite. So they what I'm about to do. I'm finna spawn me in the truck that I can use for that trailer, cause they just cheese me, bro. I don't even know where to go. I just forgot. Oh, industrial. Yeah. Wait, where's my um? No, nope, it's not industrial. Commercial. Yeah, commercial. There we go. Get my big boy T700. Get that menu off the screen. I right, just go ahead and hook up and get these supplies to the crib. Whoa, shit! Hold up, hold up, hold up! Y'all ain't fair. All right, time to go. Time to go. Damn. All right, you know I ain't done with them, bro. I want the blast at me, bro. Let's get it. Keyboard and mouse. All right, we're gonna get rid of the cops. Y'all already know. I can't see nothing with that damn shit in my way. Yeah. Oh, hold up. Whoa, whoa, hold up. Nah, bro. You can't go down like that. Oh, snap. Oh, I'm cheating. All right, all right. Let me disable. I'm going to just disable the cops. Because that's what we're not going to worry about. All right, here we go. Here we go. Sing on down. Here we go. He's in there. All right, so they're not after me no more. Well, they're, they're recognizing me, but, you know, ain't nothing's going to happen. So, I'm gonna hook back up. We gotta go. Okay, we, we gotta go. I need to turn around, bro. We gotta turn around ASAP. That was hectic, bro. I ain't gonna lie. I wasn't planning on that right there. But then again, bro, that's, that's the one good thing about GTA. GTA is pretty unpredictable. I'm gonna run y'all over. Man, I'm yeah. sorry, They're both of you. Shoot at that. 
All right, so let's go ahead and make our way, man. We gotta deliver the trailer. He said, the lost are on to you. He said, kill them. Oh, shoot, they still on to me? Yeah, look at all the bodies. Bodies and motorcycles, that's all you see. Man, I hit something. I don't know what I just hit. All right, there's some more up here, apparently. Oh, here they go, right here. Yeah. Tango down, tango down. There we go. Yes, sir. We need to take them all the way down completely, but so we will we'll let it go. They say take a longer route to avoid bringing heat back to the lab. Of course. But they know better not to come back to the lab, man. You know what I'm saying? They gonna try it. They gonna try it. Let's just go ahead and get our shipment. And we gotta go ahead and cook some more batches. And this is gonna have us cooking up some real large batches. Oh, shit. I gotta keep straight. Alright, here we go. We're almost there. Whoa. Here we go. Ooh. Getting wild here. Alright, man. Here we go. Let's go ahead and bat this guy on up to its uh, drop location. Oh, that was hideous, man. Oh, wait. Oh, it worked. Okay, that was good. I was about to say. So that worked out. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Man, let's see what kind of damn mission they want us to do, bro. We actually got some uh, some regular uh, jobs to do. They said we have a special job that requires a hitman that is silent and deadly. You know, let's try it. It says get to the market. I'm right, gonna take the uh, I'm gonna take the G. You know what? I kind of want to take that guy because yeah, we're gonna take this. So that way, once we're done, we can go ahead and go pick up the Escalade go to the house we can change clothes and then we're gonna go to the shop because uh the, it turns out the audi at the shop actually did sell so we gotta go and drop that guy off at this new owner's uh house so uh yeah we'll be dropping the escalade for that let's go ahead and make our way on down here man yeah, these dudes gonna look too slow for me all right i'm gonna go ahead and re-enable the cops since we're not done with that mission so we can still get pulled over and all that good stuff by him. But we definitely gotta go ahead and make sure we can still get pulled over by him. Alright, I'm actually monitoring my game temperatures and stuff. And right now my CPU is running at 90 degrees Celsius and my GPU is running at 72 degrees. That's crazy. Hot, bro. Like, I kid you not, bro. You will burn yourself touching that shit. Like, that shit's hot. Alright, here go the Hitman position. Oh shit. He said eliminate the guards by any means the target must be with a melee weapon. Oh shoot, I don't think I have a melee weapon. Do I? No, nope, I don't. Oh shoot. I ain't got no melee weapon. We're gonna have to just beat his ass. That's what we're gonna have to do. Alright, we gotta see. Oh, I see him right there. I wonder if, oh, it's probably going to, wait, what happened? What happened? Oh, man, I scared, how? Okay, I, I'm seeing now what I got to do for those Hitman missions. We actually got to, like, we got to sneak onto the area, take them out. It's like the old school, like like the old school GTA uh, San Andreas missions and stuff. So I'm kind of seeing what I got to do for those now, bro. I know what to do now. I just wish they gave you a little bit more like description on what you need to do, man. They don't tell you shit. They just say, hey, come on over here. You got to take out. And then and then on top of that, it's like it tells you backwards. Like it, it's backwards with the instructions. It tells you to take out the targets by any means. But as soon as you, you know, you start shooting to take them out by any means, you scare the target. It's like they really shouldn't put, you know, by any means on there. You know, you should be like stealthily, you know what I'm saying, take on the targets. So people know that they have to be quiet the entire time to not scare the target. So I definitely want to try that again. So that we can go ahead and, you know what I'm saying? Get stealthy on the air. All right, so here we go, man. We're making it to the uh, Escalade. I had a little quick little yarn right there, man. I'm going to show you guys this Escalade, man. First off, you guys got to let me know what you guys thought about it in the first episode before we picked it up. Oh, when we picked it up and we just drove it a little bit. Oh, it's another phone over here. 
but then I want y'all to go ahead and let me know what y'all think about it with the rims that we did uh, went ahead and we picked for it had them mounted on there and everything man because it looks good I ain't gonna lie man it looks good I kind of want to keep the white paint job on it too so we may end up doing that as well I'm right, going to unlock this guy y'all already know I gotta hop on it oh I just realized something yep I never saved them so we gotta go ahead and redo them, but these are the rims for the Escalade here, man. Now let me go ahead and pull it out real quick, and I'm gonna show y'all what we do. I'm gonna show y'all how we do, man. For anybody that did, you know what I'm saying? If you did, go ahead and get your game set up by your boy. This is how you, you know what I'm saying? You go ahead and make your rims bigger. Yeah, sorry. All right, then we gotta make them a little wider, though. Hold up. Just a little bit. You know what I'm saying? A little thicker. All right, let's bring this up. 47. I kind of remember the numbers that I had set, though, so. We gotta go ahead and do that, man. Yeah. So let me know what y'all think about the Escalade. I'm, I'm gonna go with like maybe these are probably like 26s. Really, they're kind of like eights. I might go with eights. Yeah, these kind of like 28s, man. Definitely let me know what y'all think about these. I like this little game setup right here. Okay. Okay. My bad. I'm going, bro. What you talking about? They never listen. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually, uh, what I need to do, I'm actually noticing a little bit of glitch. I'm about to drop it down one. And that should fix it. Fix the tiny bit of glitch that we were getting. This is the land of opportunity. All right, so let's go ahead. Let's make our way to the uh, mansion. Because we're kind of going to drop this guy off for a second. Because we're actually going to be driving. Oh, we're actually we're supposed to go to the shop, not the mansion. Hold up. I almost forgot, man. We got to go to the shop. We're dropping off that, uh... Yeah, we're dropping off that Audi. I was gonna drop, for some reason, I was thinking about dropping off the Escalade at the house. I don't know why. A little bit of a long trip just to get back to it. So yeah, man, devil really know what you guys think about this little setup right here. I kind of like these rims a lot for this Escalade, but they kind of fit. Like, they fit this Escalade very well, bro. And I'm not taking no dirt path. That's why I'm like, keeping straight past the destination of the uh, GPS. I ain't got time for a GPS trying to tell me to do. Alright, let's go ahead and make our turns. Keep on going. So, hopefully, you guys do enjoy the episode. Nonetheless, man, you know, we got the Escalade kind of early. You know what I'm saying? I normally don't, you know what I'm saying? We normally don't reveal the star of the episodes, uh, you know, this soon. But we will be doing some trapping in this uh, before the episode is over. I just wanted to go ahead and we got to deliver this RS7 before we do it changes his mind and requests his refund. You know what I'm saying? We're going to go to make that sale. Now we have a roll back right there. Yeah, definitely let me know what you guys think about this little setup though. If y'all like this, y'all, you guys can give me some paint job suggestions. So you guys can let me know what should we do for the paint job on this guy. And also, man, if you guys do want to go ahead and play like your boy, man, make sure you guys go ahead and hit me up. The link is in the description. Hit. Make sure you guys uh, DM me on Instagram, and I can go ahead and get you guys set up for a small fee, man. I'm actually working out the prices so that I can go ahead and just leave them in the description or something like that. So that way, I'm not constant, you know, that way folks aren't constantly having to hit me up and claim. That's the reason why, you know what I'm saying, they don't want to waste my time or whatever, man. Folks like to claim... Oh, we don't know the price. That's why, you know, that's why we got to hit you up and it seems like wasting time. No, man, no, nah, man. Some of these folks, man, they be knowing what they be doing, bro. Some of these folks know exactly what they be doing, bro. They know they not ready to buy. Like, hold up. Okay, so my thing about that, if you know you ain't got no money, okay, now that was my thing. I remember because I was, I was talking about it before and I think a bunch of you guys kind of got me mixed up. Uh, when I when I said there was people wasting my time about that, when I, what I meant about that, like folks would hit me up, they would ask for the price and all these, ask all these questions about the mod, and then in the end, when it's time to actually get to business, they would be like, oh, I don't have a cash app, or I don't have any money, or something, you know what I'm saying? It'll be something small. It's like, bro, if you, if you know you don't have any money, why are you even asking questions about something you can't pay for? Like that's that's wasting time because who knows you might. You might ask those questions, you know what I'm saying? You might you might have 100% full intentions on, you know what I'm saying, getting it, but you may never actually come forward with the money, you know what I'm saying? Like, you may just, literally, you may just waste time. You, you may just sit there and talk to, about what you want to do, 
and and then like just weeks go on and days go on and, and you know what I'm saying months go on and you don't never come back when you get the money. That's the main reason. That's what I mean by wasting time. You know what I'm saying? That's what I meant. It's like I had no problem with folks. You know what I'm saying? If you, if you are 100% serious about it. You know what I'm saying? And you're still, you know what I'm saying? And you, you come and asking questions about it, and then you come back like a week or you know even two, three weeks later. You know that's not that bad. But I've had folks sit and ask a ton of questions, a ton of questions, and then in the end they're like, "Oh, I ain't got the cash right now. I, I hit you up in a few days when I, you know what I'm saying, when I get paid." And, and you know, you know what I'm saying? And then next thing you know, a week goes by no messages, you know what I'm saying, two weeks go by, still don't hear from them, it's like, yo, they purposely wasted my time, but it's like, you, they knew they weren't finna buy it, but they wanted all these questions answered, and all this, it's like, bruh, that, that, that's what I meant by wasted time, that's exactly what I meant by wasted time, but when I made it to the shop, Escalator's dirty as hell, damn, well, that's what happened, we made new trips, man. I'm about to definitely stop at the car wash when we start trapping so that we can go ahead and get this guy washed. Because uh, we need to wash. We need to wash. Alright. So we made it to the shop, man. We made it to the shop. Oh, uh, we got to pull the RS7 out, man. Because that guy definitely uh, has a new owner, man. Has a new owner. Let's go ahead and walk on up in here. You guys can let me know in the comment section down below how much we should uh, get paid for it as well. That'd be a good little amount. So, yeah, what I'm going to go ahead and do... Whoa, why is it locked? Hold up, man. Hold up, man. Wait a minute. Why is it locked? It should not be locked. All right, let me see, man. Oh, that's wrong. All right. Honestly, I have no idea why it's locked. Why is it locked? So that means the other ones are locked, too? Wow, so they're all locked, bro. Who, who, where, where my keys at, bro? Where, where my keys to my cars? Like, bro, somebody, somebody playing with me, bro. You know what I'm saying? Somebody playing with me, bro. I ain't got my keys to my cars. All right, bro. I, okay, hold up, bro. This crown think it's mine, bro. You know what I'm saying? I know I got the keys to this. Ain't no way. I just got locked out of all my cars, bro. Oh no, wait, wait, I think I know it. I think I know what happened actually. I think it was this mod right here. This character swap. Let me reset that. Alrighty guys. Got it fixed up. So the new way that I use for my cars and stuff, I'm gonna have to figure out another way now. Because uh it, it makes it very hard to get back in the car after uh you know after they've been saved. So yeah, I'm gonna have to work on that man. I'm gonna have to work on that. But all right, so we gotta go ahead and drop this off at the new owner's house, which is actually right here. So let's go ahead and make that quick little journey. And you guys can leave it in the comment section down below how much you guys think we should get paid for this RS7 right here, man. Cause um, I ain't even gonna lie, this, this RS7 has been sitting at the shop for a while. You know what I'm mean? saying? Your boy Franklin has had this guy for sale for a while. And uh, it's finally sold. Whoa. Yeah, we definitely gotta get more cars at the shop and we're gonna probably end up expanding the shop too because uh, your boy wants to go ahead and uh, I really want to go ahead and you know, get a bigger shop with a lot more space I think it'll really work out a little bit better if we had a lot more space you know what I'm saying it's a shame. so let's go to make our way on down here we're almost at the house. We're gonna have to call Z up for a lift so he can give us a lift back to the shop with the Escalade. And then that way we'll be able to, you know, I'm gonna go to call Z up right now so he can be on his way. Alright, so we're actually dropping off the RS7 right here. Going to his new owner. So you guys definitely gotta let me know how much should we get paid for this guy. I actually like this RS7, man. Franklin probably should have kept this for himself. But, uh... You know what I'm saying, man? You, you know what I'm saying? Gotta have them decent cars, man, for everybody else, too. Alright, so... It looks like Buddy done got himself stuck. 
Yep, I knew it. Bring your ass over here. Alright. Damn, man. Y'all see what we gotta do just to get this shit to work, man? Like, what is my man's doing? Oh, well, I did call it over here. I'm tripping. Come on, man. Stop moving. Stop moving, bruh. I'm trying to get in. Mm -hmm, man says he's gonna do a million circles before I fully get in, man. Damn, just just take me back to my shop, bro. I just wanna go get my car. That's all you gotta do. Oh, where's he going? Oh my gosh, did this man really just crash into somebody's garage, bro? Somebody gotta get my man Z some better than my man, my, bro, my bro is tripping, okay? Driving lessons on zero. Shit. See, now I gotta help him again, man. Driving lessons on zero, bro. I kid you guys not, man. Like, look at him. Does my man not know that's a wall? Bro. Does he not know that's a wall? Hold up, bro. Something, I don't know, bro. It's like... Y'all notice... Y'all seeing this, right? Every video that we do, it's like his driving gets worse and worse. Every video that we do. Back up straight. Oh, my. If he goes back down the street, why is he going? Oh my gosh, dude. we finna stop using. We finna stop using Z. It might be time to update this mod, though. That's really what it might be. Yeah, take me to my damn waypoint, boy. This man here. I ain't never seen him driving like that. Why the driver never seen a Benz driving, man? Jesus. But all right, man. Just take me to my Escalade. Take me to my Escalade, sir. I don't need no extra turns, no nothing, bruh. You know what I'm saying? I got things to do. You know folks up down the road. Why does it keep giving me this top-down view? I really hate that top-down view. Let me do him a favor, man. While we're in cinematic view, let me do him a favor. Yeah. Make sure he got a clean car. You know what I'm saying? A clean, good-looking car while we ride it through the city. Got to get some decent little angles. Yeah, I definitely got to play around with my graphics a little more. I actually want to install some new graphics mods and stuff. So I'm finna, more than likely after this video or after my next video for the second channel, I'm actually going to spend a little bit of time um, swapping over all my files to a new a new copy of GTA 5 so that I can actually, you know, work on a fresh new game. Because I'm still running off my old game. That's the main reason why we're still having, like, some quality issues and stuff. Alright, we gotta hit a car wash like ASAP, man. I joined dirty. So yeah, man, I'm definitely gonna be doing that uh, after you know after this, you know, today. Cause it's actually pretty easy to move your mods over from one game to another. Probably gonna have to figure out what mods I don't have updated as well. Like I know LS Life has an update. It's probably why Z's driving is so horrible. He needs that update. You never know, man. You never know. So we're gonna check, man. I did it. Oh. We're actually going to a car wash too, let's go. Alright, we got a little bit of drugs on us. We'll go ahead and sell what we got on us too, so let's go ahead and make our way to this gas station and this car wash. And we'll go ahead and uh, we'll make this happen, man. Y'all get to see this guy go through a car wash for the first time. Alright, that's all I wanted to do is fix it. I didn't want to clean it. I'm gonna go to pop a quick save, man. Y'all already know. Even though my game, that's the one thing. My game has been extremely stable. I, you know, I really deal with crashes and stuff now. But I still gotta pop them saves. You just never know, man. Like, dead ass, man. When your game stops crashing as often, like, you legit never know when you're gonna get a crash. So, you really gotta start saving all the time. Alright, so here we go. $15 car wash. Really should be like a. Hundred dollar car wash, but she, you know what I'm saying. Ain't Definitely let me know what you guys think about this Escalade. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna start trapping. Let me call Z up real quick. Oh, I can't even call. Him. We gotta finish the car wash. Yeah, look at it. glistening and shining. Yeah, I can't tell me this Escalade don't look hard. Yeah, look at it. I can't tell me this is Kalei, don't look hard. Sorry, so I gotta go ahead and get a thumbnail real quick. Y'all already know, man. 
Gotta get them thumbnails in. Gotta get them thumbnails in. Now, this is one of those cards where I have to get the thumbnails this way, too. I can't do them any other way. Oh, that's why we were supposed to go to the house. I forgot, man. We were supposed to... My boy Franklin got to change his clothes. He went the same thing. That's why we had to go to the, to the house. I was about to do something that probably would have pissed me off, man. I ain't even gonna lie, man. I ain't even gonna worry about doing it. Ooh, that would have pissed me off, man. Y'all just don't even know. I can't even use that. All right. Let's go ahead. Let's do what we gotta do. Let's call Z up. We're gonna start trapping. See if anybody. We're gonna sit up there. We're gonna sit over here at the gas station and wait on some folks. But somebody gonna pull up. Wait at the garage station for some people. Oh yeah, we got hey. some folks. Why well, he ran to that front door? He said, "I got shot done, brother." All right, we got a gram. I mean, a gram of crack going right here. Thanks. Now, he didn't want to get in behind me. Okay. Eight of cocaine going back there behind me. Yeah, we're gonna make some Thanks. really good money over here. How's it going? Weed. Cheers. I like how they just wait instead of like all munching up in the car at one time. We got nine grams of cocaine right here. Instead of all munching up in the car at one time, you know what I'm saying? They, you know, when they see one person about to get out, they wait. That's fine. Somebody coming in from the gas station. That's the damn clerk. How's life? Going all right, man. Going all right. You see what I'm whipping? You like? Yeah. All right, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, what do you want? Oh, he want a foe. He want foe G's. Why, thank you. No problem, bro. No problem. All right. Let's go ahead and let's move. Gotta move to another side of town real quick. I ain't gonna lie to y'all, bro. We finna be driving this Escalade for a little while, bro. No cap. <laughs> so we finna do like probably five to ten more episodes with this Escalade over the How next few days. Oh, yeah. We making some sales right here. Thank you. Making some sales right here. Make sure I watch my heat meter, though. You know, we ain't trying to... I ain't trying to get myself messed up. Hello. Hey, bro. Check out the new RS Cowboy Avenue. How are you doing today? I'm all right. I'm all right. Thank you. No problem. Let me pull up the street. I could go across the street and park over there. Parking at, you know, the parking spots they had right there. Oh, damn. I'm coming running. All right, hold up. I'm going to park in the, uh, park in the 7-Up. I'm in the 24-7. I'm probably going to the 24-7 parking lot. Alright, y'all already know. Some more thumbnails. Gotta get them good looking thumbnails in, man. Oh, whoa, hold up. Oh, the brother wants some smoke. Go ahead, Gub. Whoop his ass for me. Yo, he tried to rob me. He tried to rob me. Whoop his ass for me. Hey, y'all see him? He trying to swing on me. Yeah, beat his ass, Grandma. Yo. Uh -huh. Yo. Yo, I ain't even gotta touch you. I ain't even gotta touch you, bro. I ain't even gotta touch you, little bro. Yo. I ain't even gotta touch you, little bro. That's what I'm talking about, man. Handle my lightweight. Handle my lightweight. Alright, we're gonna make a couple sales real quick. Got 8 G's going to you, little bro. Oh, hold up. Who let this man get out? Hold up, man. I got Yo. No, don't get up. My bitch now. Oh, straight like that. Let me get all that cash. Right. You need that. All right, man. I got two oh, G's, one of you. Here you go. Appreciate the help, man. I threw an extra gram in there for you. Yo, mm -hmm. you got five G's cocaine, man. Don't hit me that play right now, yo. One hundred. What's up? Crap. It's good, bro. Thanks. No problem. No problem. All right, man. We got like a couple more people walking up. What you want, bro? Cocaine. Yeah, I got you, bro. Cheers. Hello. No problem. All right, hold on. I gotta make sure I lock the Escalade. Just in case some folks get a little, get a little happy, man. They wanna try and, you know what I'm saying? They wanna try and hop in my Escalade or something. Hello. What's up, bro? I got a G for you. I gotta make sure I watch my heat meter because I will get distracted and forget all about that meter. I should only wanna grab weed. Alright man, someone else selling some weed over there on Ginger Street. We're gonna have to go check on him real quick. 
to appreciate that, man. We got seven G's right there too. Somebody else coming around the corner. We got somebody else running across the street. Hi. What's up, bro? I got something for you. What you need? Four G's Hi. cocaine. No problem. Thank you. Yup. Right, we got nine How's G's of cocaine. Condition? But we're making some real good money right here, bro. This is a cocaine spot, bro. This is Cocaine Avenue right here. No kidding. Uh, 12 right there. 12 right there. I see him. Right, we finna go. We finna go. 12 right across the street. I can't even make this sale. 12 right across the street, though. Y'all see him? Look at him. Give us make the 7 G's. Yo, I knew it. I knew it. I should have ran then. I don't know why I shouldn't have made that play. I shouldn't have made that play. All right, we gotta go. Oh damn! Let me get some damage on my Escalade. Let me get through here, bro. I know you see me coming. Oh, I can't even get out. Oh no! Oh man, we gotta go right back up the same way we came. Hold up, bro. Hell no! Nah. I did not just get my Escalade stuff, bro. You got me fucked up, bro. Hey, I at least I ain't gonna cheat and warp myself across the map or some bullshit, man. You know what I'm saying? I warp myself on top of the street. Alright, we gotta get it up. Hold on real quick, what bride that was selling on my turf? Oh, there you go, right here. Oh, bruh selling on my turf. Hell wrong, hell wrong, bruh. Hell wrong with bruh. Deadly force. Deadly force. Oh, oh, hold up. Hold up, I just wanted to see what she had on her. Time to go. Damn, they blasting the hell of mess clay. Oh shit. Alright, time to go. Time to go. They got deadly force authorized, bruh. I got four stars. All I did was run the old lady over because she was selling in my area, bruh. That's it. Hey, come on, bruh. Y'all can't be mad at me for that, bruh. Y'all cannot be mad at me because I ran this old lady over for selling on my side of the town. Man, that old lady shouldn't have been serving on my side of town, bro. It's simple. Hey, we're finna go duck off at, um, uh, at our aunt house, bro. I had to make the quickest way over there. Oh, I knew this was gonna happen. I knew this was gonna happen. Oh, no. Make that left. Y'all. Oh, they got a helicopter on me now, bro. Oh, they got the helicopter back out. Hey, bro, I'm about to get away from four stars. Hey, we're gonna go over here. I'm about to get away from four stars, but then destroy my escalator in the process, but hey, we're gonna be able to get away, man. We get away, we can fix this guy, man. You know what I'm saying? Ain't tripping. They got a warrant out for both me and the truck. So this is probably gonna be it right here, man. Hey, right above me. Alright, we, we got a way. We got a 20 minute warrant. Alright, man, let's go ahead. We're we gonna go back to Los Santos Customs. Because I need to get my joint fixed. Alright, they on the highway, so we good. So that we on the way, you know what I'm saying? We're just gonna make our way. Whew, hopefully, you guys did enjoy this episode right here. Cause man, I tell you, bro, I tell you, man. Whenever we get the cops on us, bro, whatever vehicle we're driving, whenever we had the cops on us, bro, that vehicle never survives. Always gets a shit ton of damage, and it just be like, it, it just be over with, man. You know what I'm saying? It just be over with. But shoot, man, I like it, man. If y'all like the, if y'all like the cop chases, we'll keep them, man. I won't take them out. You know what I'm saying? But. With that being said, man, this will be just about the end of the episode because I got to go ahead and get these episodes rendered out and posted today because, you know what I'm saying, I'm trying to stay consistent. Two videos a day. And uh, these videos are actually going to be very late, man, because it's actually uh, it's 8.20 right now. And the first video isn't even uh, rendered yet. So, yeah, it's going to be some very late uploads today, man. I do apologize for that. But I know y'all ain't going to care. Y'all still gonna watch it. And in fact, y'all might actually like these late uploads a little bit better considering that they're gonna be at the time when you're at the house chilling and probably need something to watch. So with that being said, man, hopefully you guys did enjoy this episode of the Real Life Series. If you guys did, man, make sure to drop a like down below. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Make sure you follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter. Links are in the description down below. I gotta resize my rims.
go. Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter. If you do want to get set up, man, make sure you guys hit me on Instagram. And I will catch you guys in the next one, man. Peace on out. We gotta drop this guy off at the house now. <laughs>